give these YouTubers credit, man. Jeez. This is hard stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison. If you have never been here before, thank you for being here. I would really appreciate it if you would go subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me, so just go with that button. Today, I am going to be showing you guys some easy, heatless hairstyles for back to school. So, let's just get into it. So... I did straighten my hair before this video, but that's just because I don't like my natural hair. So you can do all of these styles with your natural hair, or you can straighten it before just like I did. Um, I'm going to start with a middle part today, and this is one is going to be a really simple hairstyle. If you like your natural hair and you just want to bum it for the day, then this is a way to just pull it together a little bit more rather than like your hair being a mess and your outfit being a mess and your face being a mess. Like, I'm just going to take a good amount of the front about this much. And I'm going to pull out one of the middle pieces right here. Just a little one. And I am then going to do that on the other side too. And if you can't get them both out right now, just you can pull them out later too. That's no problem. My mirror is over here, so I'm gonna look at I'm trying to look in the viewfinder as much as I can, but I don't know if I can really do that the whole time. So now that I've got the pieces out front that I want, and I have my two, I'm going to pull them back here together, and I'm just going to take a little clip, and I'm going to just pull them together and clip them together. So it just looks like that. It's just a little really, really easy way, and from the front it looks like this. It's like an easy way to make it look a little bit more put together than you would regularly. The next hairstyle that I'm going to show you guys is just a simple half up, half down look. Some people find this really hard to do, so I'm just going to teach you guys how to do it how I do it. Um, I'm going to just pull, I usually pull from a little bit above my ears, like about the same spot here, line up with my eyes, and then I'm going to pull it upwards, like so until my fingers meet. So once my fingers meet, I will grab all of that hair that was above it and I'll start to pull it over my head. And this is when I would just, I'm just trying to even it all out, not get any tangles in the back. But I'll just pull it up like that. And then I usually use a regular hair tie because I have a lot of hair. And I will do three times through. You just want to make sure when you're doing half up, half down, I think where a lot of people go wrong is that they put um, pull too much hair up and then they don't have enough hair down and it just looks like a really bad ponytail. <laughs> so just pull that all up there. This is a little messy, but I don't want to do it. So this is the half up, half down. This is another one you could do for bumming or for not bumming. I wear this look a ton. Going off of this look, you start with um, your hair half up, half down, and then you will twist and spiral your hair around this piece and doo -doo -doo. so once you get that in i like to use a hair tie a lot of people use bobby pins but i like to use a hair tie first and i have like really i don't know my hair sometimes when i do this it like the bun sticks up really high so I will put my hair tie in like so and then just play around with it from there. This is something that I could never do before, I like try to play around with it, but it's not too hard. You just pull it around till you like how it looks and you can like bobby pin wherever you'd like, stuff like that. So I'm getting my bobby pins out, maybe. <sighs> Jeez! Come on! Get my bobby pins out because this is a little weird right now. And then you just... Jeez! These bobby pins hate me. So then you just pull it around however you want and you grab your bobby pin. And you're just gonna... Bobby pin it into place. However you like it, into place. So... This is that look. I also have a little flyaway right here so you can bobby pin those up in. 
and just basically play with it until you like how it looks up on the top of your head. And yeah, this is the finished look for that one. Ow! What is my life? Okay, so I'm gonna brush my hair back out. And this next one is going to be a fancy looking thing. This is for my birthday. I'm gonna put a picture right here for you. Um, it's basically just space buns, but for people with long hair, if you're here, then this is really gonna help you out because I couldn't figure out how to do it for the longest time and then I was like, just playing around because I wanted to be able to do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now because you can wear this to school easily. It took me maybe four minutes on my birthday and it looked like how I just showed you. So what you're gonna do is split your hair down the middle like I just did and split it into the two halves. You're going to take one side first and you are going to just put in high piggy tails up here. Like right on the top of your head, not to the side or to the back at all. Just make sure it's directly on top of your head. Because I find that that's how it looks really good. So we've got one. So once you've got those up, like, oh my god, not like so, uh, okay, like so, right on the tip top of your head. Then what I did was I did the same type of thing as before, just you do a looser spin. So spin these really loosely and you're going to go all the way around, just how we did before but looser. And we're going to start bobby pinning these in. First just bobby pin it to keep it in, like the part that you just did. And then we're going to do the other one. You're going to spin this around and then you're going to do the same thing as before, just go right around the bun. And then you are going to tie it off just as we did, not tie it off, you're going to put a bobby pin in just like we did before to just hold it into place. Okay, so there we go, we have those both in place. And then, just like we did with the other ones, you really just gotta play around with how you like how they look. And this one, I'm not sure what's going on with this one today. There we go. Just pull them down. I try to pull parts of them down to the middle a little bit more so that they look like they're touching. I like how it looks better when it looks like they're touching. So I've got that one and then I'm going to pull this one to here over so that it looks like it's touching and bobby pin that in. Obviously like if you want them both looking like really big or you want them both looking smaller like you just play around with them as much as you can but this is how I like them looking and that's the finished product. So it's just like, it reminds me of a little like Minnie Mouse look. I love it. It's so cute. So that only took me like three minutes maybe. It might take you a little bit more if you really want to play around with it. You're a perfectionist. Um, but yeah, that's an easy one to do with like whatever you're wearing to school. Honestly, I like how pigtails look. That might be mad weird, but I really do. I find that if you want to do pigtails and you like how pigtails look, to do them so that they're more behind your eyes. I'll show you what I mean. So if you like pigtails and you like how they look, you like the ponytail look, you're looking for something a little bit different, I would um, part your hair down the middle and then pull it back to the sides and put, tie it up right behind your head like so and then obviously the other one I gotta take this one down from the space buns and just pull it back the same way in that middle part pull it back behind your head so that it is right behind where your eye would be if your eye was in the back of your head and voila I feel like that looks a lot better, like it just looks a lot cuter with it um, 
in the back of your head. I think that that's a good alternative to a ponytail and like a cute way to make your hair look different than everybody else's. Maybe like throw some earrings on with it, make it look cuter, or a headband I think would look really cute with this look. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do my messy bun. A lot of people have a hard time doing a messy bun because it's really not just like throwing your hair up even though that's what it looks like. Going to school, a lot of girls like doing messy buns with their sweatpants and their shirts. I don't know if you guys bum to school, but I bum to school like every single day of high school. So first of all, just go down and get your hair into the position that you would put it in a ponytail, but don't tie anything around it yet. So you're in the spot that you would normally put a ponytail and just get a like regular thick hair tie. And what I do is I pull the hair tie through this way about halfway and then I'll twist it, grab where I just twisted, this is hard to explain so hopefully you guys can see it, and then put it, the part that wasn't in it yet, because my hair's so long, over to here so that it isn't sticking out, and then I pull this over, and then I pull this over, and my camera just overheated, I'm sorry about that. And I will do the same thing that I did in all my other ones and just like play around with it. Sometimes I'll throw in an extra hair tie just because I like how, like how it looks better. And then I'll just bobby pin around or even a lot of times I don't even bobby pin because it's not worth it for me. But um, this isn't my best one but you get the idea like you just throw it up like that and that's how I do it. It usually stays in pretty good if you feel like it's getting loose then just bobby pin it in or put another hair tie in. That's what I do, and it's a cute way to like make it look like you didn't try, but you actually did try, you know? That's a girl's life, right? I just realized that I had lipstick like coming out of my lip here, so hopefully that wasn't like really obvious and really annoying, because I'm sorry. My last hairstyle that I have for you guys is gonna be some low buns. So again, with that middle part, just go in there with that middle part and bring them back like you're going to do low ponytails. I like wearing this one with a hat. I will keep it over my, so keep your hair over your ears. If you want your hair behind your ears, obviously that's fine too, but I just like it over my ears better. And pull it into a little bun here, like this. And I just did that the same way that I do the hair on top of my head. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. I don't worry about how these ones look as much just because, I don't know, these ones are like... So obviously they look a little bit odd right now, so I'm going to get a hat. So I'll just like to wear these with like a hat like this. Not really as much with this outfit. I would probably put on like a sweatshirt and just like make it more look like I'm kind of bumming it or like skater look I guess. So yeah, I'll just do my low buns and a hat and that would be the finished product so I hope that this helped you guys out a little bit at least I know that a lot of them are really simple and you're probably like okay that's so easy but I'm just trying to like inspire you guys to like get some looks that might be a little bit easier to do if you're just throwing your hair up for school and you want to look a little bit cute gotta be extra you know and um yeah that's all that I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're gonna do some of these hairstyles for school if you're going out and I hope you guys have a great day. Go out and do what makes you happy today and I'll see you in my next video.